this is the first time I've ever taken on a kind of heavy military strategy earlier in a game. So we'll see how this goes, because Scott has outstripped me science-wise. Oh, uh, well, at least he had outstripped me until suddenly just now. I actually don't know how this demographic works, but up until this point, it showed him at like 12% of me and at zero. So I should look up what this number actually represents. Things are actually suddenly looking a lot better than they did before. So anyway, uh, you'll see a little clever trick I did. So earlier I started making that barracks. I only made it because I didn't, my economy wasn't going great. I didn't want to like build another unit that would just cost me. I didn't want to build like a settler that early or another worker. So I started building a barracks and I switched it out one turn before it was done to build something else. So now I'm one turn away from finishing a military unit. And I'm going to go over to this barracks that I'd mostly finished, and oh look, it's one turn away from finishing. So I'll finish the barracks this turn, I'll finish the companion cavalry next turn, it'll get the experience bonus. And then I'm going to have an army of three hoplites, two companion cavalry, and two scouts. And I might start building one more companion cavalry and one more hoplite before I start building other stuff to leave behind in these places as free garrisons, primarily just to protect the cities from barbarians. But I'll send the rest of the forces over to take out these barbarian encampments, since this one is a city-state quest, and I want to be allies with all four city-states before I fully take on Scott. But, otherwise, I want to send these troops over here and just harass Scott to the point that he quits the game. So let's move these guys around, continue to build up my awesome city. Let my hoplites heal. Have the scout continue to check on where these barbarians might be. Alright, there's one. Uh, ooh, this guy already leveled up. I'm going to use him as a shock trooper, and I'll just straight up finish that off. Nice culture, nice experience. This guy, finish that off. Nice! And remember, I'm already getting 50% more experience. So I'm going to have one fuck of an army by the time it gets over to bother Scott. And look, this guy's still got movements. I could explore this little area, but instead I'm going to run back into my territory to ensure that I heal. A little bit faster than I would normally. This guy, remember, I'm living here because he should heal, thanks to my religion, much faster than he would anywhere else. I'm just going to let the city keep building that caravan for the time being, because I would like to get that caravan going. And just start sending it to Ur and just get some money, just to cover that minor deficit that's going to grow a little bit more as I build more military units. And that's that. See how things go with Scott. Let's see. So it's interesting, population-wise, we're pretty close. But that's just because Sparta hasn't grown substantially yet. I'm doubtful that Scott has built a second city this early. If he did, uh, he probably built it up here somewhere. I mean, he's only got two spots he can build a city. If he got a guy over here and built a city in this, I will be shocked. Utterly shocked. And I think I'm going to build my next city over here in the middle of all this. Because so I get a city here, I've locked the map away from him and his game over. So things bode less well for Scott than I'd anticipated. Because sure, he just finished the Great Library as he was bragging about when we were about to do the show. But he also just entered the Classical Era. Now, if you look at the tech tree, I've been in the classical era for a while, and I'm working on my second tech. So, how do I just have that much more science output than him? Like, what has he been doing? He must have completely... He has sailing, I know that. He must have just, like, completely filled this tree out. I don't know exactly what's up, but let's see the demographics. Yeah. He's got a little more manufacturing, a little more stuff going on as one big city, so i got to start expanding this guy more. Otherwise, you can see these barbarians everywhere. I just have to keep fighting this nonsense. Ugh, these guys. Let's fall back one. These guys, too, now. I can come in here. I can finish that guy off. I can significantly damage that guy. I'll leave this guy here for the flanking. This guy. So he's healed. But he can't kill that guy in one turn. So maybe it's time to just send him around to deal with this other stuff. So I can send this guy down here to help deal with these guys. I'll leave him there for now. And I'll come here and almost finish them off. And then once again, end my turn in my own territory. 
Finish the quarry. City's looking pretty good. Start growing a lot faster. I'm going to have plantations. I can finish all these out. I'll kit the city out a little more. And then I'm going to come down here and start building this city out more. Otherwise, everything's coming up Millhouse. Sneak this guy closer to keep an eye on Scott. Because that's not a city-state quest, so I really don't care. I'll finish this off as I come across to settle in here. I want to keep this guy around to start menacing Scott. That one I want to kill, though. Is that for Prague? I assume so. Yep, it's for Prague. And this one should be for Lhasa. 